<laughs> Welcome to Self Built. Today I'm going to be going over some stability training, specifically shoulder press. We're going to be doing some overhead press with some homemade stability dumbbells. This is something that I've used for a long time in my training. Stability is great for getting maximum muscle contraction, recruiting as much muscle as possible, and it's awesome to increase your stability because when you're in everyday life, not everything is gonna be like it is in the gym to where everything's in that perfect scenario where everything's evenly balanced or it's on a machine. Sometimes in real life, things are unstable. So this will also help you protect you from injury. As long as you do it safely, of course, you don't wanna go crazy and just throw a ton of weight on. You wanna know where you're at and challenge yourself from there. I'm gonna take you through a shoulder exercise that anyone can use. You can do it whether sitting or standing. I'm gonna be sitting for this one, just a overhead press. And then I'll show you how you can build this equipment. So let's hop into it. All right, this is one piece that you're gonna need if you're not familiar with this. It's some people call it a loading pin. For me, I call it an adjustable dumbbell. But with this, it's very simple, easy to make. All you need is a floor flange, a pipe, and then you need a cap and then some sort of eye bolt. And then I'll also put some nuts in here together just to make sure this doesn't move. And what you wanna do is you're gonna load your weight on here and then you'll tighten this down. So it'll work for me. Once you got it tightened down, you'll hook it with a carabiner and this chain right here and what this chain will do is it's going to create a whole lot of sway while you're doing any sort of press so it forces your stabilization muscles to really kick into overdrive because traditional exercises in the gym aren't this unstable so it's excellent for that then once you got that you just got to hook up a handle here's just a layout of what it looks like when it's fully set up you got your weights on your adjustable dumbbell carabiner chain another handle and that's it all right once you've got that put together you've got the weight selected that you want you're ready to go almost what I like to do is I tuck the handles inside I don't have them outside like this for me personally I feel a strain in my elbows that I don't like and it makes it a little more difficult for stabilizing which sounds kind of funny because this is a stabilizing exercise for me it's just too much. I like to be able to feel power and stability at the same time, so this is a good way to feel stable in an unstable environment, if that makes sense. So I'll do it like that. And when you have your chain, you can adjust the length to whatever length of chain that you want. Something really cool is you can make it so your starting point is right where you need to go. So instead of having to waste energy with dumbbells, heave it up to your arm, to your leg, and then toss it up, you can just get right away you can put all that energy into pressing and there's no wasted energy with that. So that's a huge perk. Another nice thing is when you're completely fatigued and tired, when you're tired, you just go to that starting point. You're not going to overstretch your shoulders. There's way less chance of injury. You don't have to have a spotter for anything like that. So those are the good things. And then let me show you what it looks like. So you'll just have it all ready like this. Just like that. You can see the weight swaying. And initially, lighten the weight considerably to what you're normally used to doing. Just because this is much harder than a dumbbell or a barbell press. Just because you are constantly fighting the weight. <clears throat> Ooh. And then when you're tired, oh, there we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Give that a try. But just as a reminder, start slow, take it easy. I've been doing stability training for a while, so I didn't make it look like it was that challenging. But just cut the ego, start very slow, because when I was first doing it, it was kind of hilarious. Like my arms were just all over the place. You kind of have to get that sink of not just pushing with your triceps because that's what a lot of training is like is you just kind of push through at the end when you're 
other muscles fail, this forces you to have an even balance. Otherwise, boop, your arm's just gonna go flying and it's just not gonna work. So pace yourself, have fun with it, push yourself, but not beyond safe limitations. I love to do that with incline press. You can also do it with, do it with flat. One issue that you run into is if you have wide weights on your pin, there is a chance it'll hit your bench and you also can't go super close grip because again, it will hit you or hit the bench. So there are some limitations on this, but it's definitely a good one to try. Something I've used for a while. So I'll give that a shot. I'll leave a link of the video. If you don't know how to make it, how to make these handles, if you don't have any, and also how to make the loading pin or adjustable dumbbell, just in case if you're new to my channel, I'll, I'll recommend you to those videos. And if you like the video, give it a like. And if you'd like to see more great content just like this, don't forget to subscribe and comment down below. Helps the algorithm, gets these great videos out there to help other people. And I love to hear your feedback, any questions, concerns, or ideas you'd like me to work towards so I can help you guys out. You can also follow me on the gram and the talk. And if you want some sweet merch just like this, I'll leave a link in that below as well. And we will see you next time. I'm still built.